This is a distance learning initiative by Shet Vidya Mandir English High School, CBSE, Vasai. Today we will learn Social Studies Lesson 13 named Time. We all know about day and night. The day has light and the night has darkness. But just with the concept of day and night, we cannot understand the time properly. The sun always rises in the east. Slowly it goes up above our heads, then gradually goes towards and sets in the west. According to this changing location of the sun, the daytime has been divided into three major parts, morning, afternoon and evening. Look at the picture. The sun is rising. The sun rises in the morning every day. Flowers bloom in the morning. Birds chirp in the morning. We get up in the morning, brush our teeth and have a bath. Then we have our breakfast and go to school. Students, do you know after morning the sun slowly reaches a point above our heads. This time is called midday or noon. The watch shows 12 o'clock at this time. The sun is overhead in the afternoon. The breeze is warm during afternoon. At this time it is very hot especially in the summer. We return from school in the afternoon and have our lunch. After that we take rest. The sun sets in the evening every day. During evening we drink milk or tea, have some snacks and then go out to play or go for a walk. Slowly the light becomes less and we can see the birds are returning to their nests. The light fades and we come back home. We get fresh and sit for studies. After sunset, it becomes dark everywhere. It is called night. Night is the time between setting and rising of the sun. The stars twinkle in the sky at night. Also, we can see the moon during night. We have our dinner at night and go to sleep. The breeze is cool and pleasant at this time. We are in a deep sleep at midnight. The watch again shows 12 o'clock at midnight. Everything is quiet at this time. Students, there are 24 hours in a day. Generally, we have around 12 hours daytime and around 12 hours nighttime. Looking at the positioning of sun during daytime, we can have a general idea about the time. However, a clock or a watch gives us the accurate time. Time is divided into hours, 
minutes and seconds. There are 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. Children, time flows like a river. We cannot stop the time. It flows only forward and does not come back. So, time is an important factor in our lives and we should use time properly. That's all for now. See you all soon. Till then, have a good time.